In today's video, we are doing a graphics comparison between the Xbox Series X, the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series S, and the Nintendo Switch. So today's video is going to be a lot of fun and quite educational for you guys to help you decide which console is best for you. So today we are playing FIFA 23. It was released yesterday, so I thought, hey, this is the best game to do a graphics comparison with, with all the consoles. So some notes that I got from playing all the different consoles is that I was quite surprised with the Xbox Series S. The graphics on this thing is really good for what you get for the price. You are up there with the Xbox Series X. When you downgrade the resolution to 1080p, you honestly can't really tell that much of a difference. And I was really impressed with the Xbox Series S. With the Xbox Series X, it was really good, but can't tell too much of a difference between the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X. With the Nintendo Switch, to be honest, with playing FIFA, I do not recommend it. It's like going back to FIFA 12 with the Nintendo Switch. It is just so bad with the graphics and also with the controller. Like trying to play with that is such a challenge, but we got there in the end and we ended up scoring a goal, thank God. But I'll tell you what, I don't recommend playing Nintendo Switch FIFA anytime soon for anyone. Yeah, let's uh, let's delve into some of these graphics with the UI menus and some gameplay. So let's just delve right in. Menu, the Parc des Princes here in the French capital, Paris. I'm Derek Ray, ready here in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder, Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Paris Saint-Germain taking on Liverpool. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays with Sergio Ramos at the back. Lionel Messi starts with Neymar out wide. And the main striker today is Kylian Mbappe. Messi. And Messi! Oh, not to be! An opportunity wasted early in the game. Well, maybe it's come a little bit too early, Derek, but that's a wasteful finish. Pull from the keeper, and they'll come again. Can he get them in front? Surely! That is a tackle and a half. Surely! Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. Physically strong and secure on the ball. PSG doing well to win it back. But I think it's fair to say, Stuart, Neymar can do just about anything out there on the pitch. What in particular do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great oh, shot. Oh, hang on, Stuart, it's a chance. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0 here. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, back underway. Will that goal have the effect of stinging Liverpool into action? 
Henderson. Neymar. Now, what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Darwin Nunez. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Well, they've given him too much space. And making his move inside. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes. Underway at the Parc des Princes in Paris. Oh, not to be. An opportunity wasted early in the game. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0 here. I think the first main upgrade that I'm seeing with the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 over the Xbox Series S is there's a bit more contrast with the darks and the Xbox Series S I would say is a bit more flat with the color profiles and stuff like that but overall you can't really tell that much of a difference with the gameplay overall I really, really enjoyed the experience of playing FIFA on the Xbox Series S more than all the other consoles. So I do recommend if you're just going digital, get yourself the Xbox Series S. If you want to play some FIFA or some games like that, it's really good for that sort of stuff. Plus the price of it is just such a great selling point for the console that I definitely recommend it for anyone. Like I've said before, I just don't recommend sporting games like that for the Nintendo Switch of games. Just stick to Nintendo games with the Nintendo Switch because I just don't think that it's ready to be portable with these sorts of games yet because just looking at the graphics, it's just so much more basic. There's just less depth to the, to the playing and all that sort of stuff. Like the graphics just don't look as good as the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X and it doesn't even stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Xbox Series S in terms of the graphics too. It's made just for portable games, for the Nintendo games, like it's just made for certain types of games like Pokemon and Mario and all those sorts of games. It's just not made for doing these sorts of games so I just don't recommend doing it. If you look at the graphics, you will agree with me with that point. And with the PlayStation 5, it is like top tier with the graphics. I've found like the DualSense controller to be absolutely amazing with it, with the rumble. And when I scored a goal, I could hear like the sound coming from the DualSense controller. So that's stepping away from the graphics comparison, but it also is like a bit of a gameplay comparison. But that's my thoughts and feelings with the console. So overall, it was a really great experience. And with the Xbox Series X, it's just as good as the PlayStation 5, but the PlayStation 5 also has those gaming exclusives. So it's kind of like, where does that fit in to the atmosphere of where all these four consoles sort of sit in a little bit? But if you get the Xbox Series X, you will have amazing graphics nonetheless. So. Overall, that's my opinion. I hope this video was educational for you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.